Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Hogue Knives EX-02. A very nice knife in a very nice line made by a very nice designer. Alan Elishowitz designs all of the EX series knives for Hogue, and this one is a great little blade. Now, we had a video on this one before, but I wanted to show you this one in comparison to the new EX-04 the EX-03 and the EX-01, kind of get the whole family together. So keep that in mind as we run through this. Now, a couple things you want to know off the bat about the EX-02, it comes in two different varieties. There's the three and three quarter inch blade, uh, which is this one right here, as well as a 3.3 inch blade, which is this one right here. Let me hold them up next to each other, make myself some space here. So you've got the two different varieties, you've got several different blade shapes, and then you've got two opening mechanisms. You've got your uh, thumb studs right here, ambidextrous thumb studs, or the flipper. And uh, I love myself some flippers. So uh, check this out, flips very nicely, very solid, no wrist flick required. Just bam, very, very smooth. The thing about the EX-02 that's different than the other varieties all of the other varieties are this button lock. So it kind of works like an axis lock, Benjamin's axis lock, that sort of thing. These ones are all liner locks. So just depending on your personal preference, uh, you've got options there. And this one, I like that thumb stud, flicks nicely. So it just depends on what you're looking for. That's one thing I like is they've got four knives in this, in this series. EX1 through four, EX01 through four, and they've kind of catered to all sorts of different tastes. They've done a really good job with it. So we'll take a look at some of those other varieties in just a second. I'm gonna run through the specs on this one really quickly and uh, tell you to buy it at bladehq.com. So first of all, the overall length on this one is eight and three quarter inches. The blade length is three and three quarter inches. Made from 154 CM steel. It's got a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 59, which is a great spot. 154 CM is great steel. It's easy to sharpen. You're not gonna have to really work it to get it sharp again. Nice consumer steel, not a super steel. Just good, gonna hold an edge well, and then you're gonna be able to sharpen it once you need to sharpen it. So uh, it's got these awesome G Mascus G10 scales on it. Basically it's kind of a Damascus sort of pattern on it. This one is the green color, and then they, ha they call this one gray, but it's almost more of like a gray brown tan camouflage is how I describe that so a couple different colors but uh, this one doesn't come in an automatic version obviously there's no way to make this an auto so no autos on the EX-02 but nonetheless a very nice design it's also got a different pocket clip from all of the other varieties it's kind of a kind of the red-headed stepchild I guess of the EX line because it doesn't have the same pocket clip uh, there's no button lock on it it's kind of stepping out of what they typically do, but uh, I like it. It also, it does have the lock on it, which is nice. All of these knives have that lock on it. So that's a good thing you know for sure that that blade is not coming open when that lock is in place. Or not gonna close as well, so. Actually, take that back, hold the press. So you can lock it open, you cannot lock it closed, is what I've just learned. So in the closed position, that lock does not engage. New information for me. This one has a glass breaker on the end, right there. So skull cr crusher or glass breaker pommel, fairly sharp. Dig it in my hand a little bit for you. So use that in emergency situations if need be. Now all of the ones in the EX-02 series have the black matte blade. So if you're not, if that's not your thing, this is probably not the knife for you. Things to keep in mind, right? Uh, other things, like I mentioned, comes with those thumb studs as well. Just different variety. Let me see if I can flick it. Detent on them is good. Uh, I can't get that one. I'm not especially good at flicking them with my thumb, but there it is. Bam. So you can do the flick there, that sort of thing. Now, you'll notice they basically have taken the same G10 style. This is the EX-04 in my right hand, brand new. We just got them in. And uh, 
this is they call it more of a lava it's not the g mask it's this uh, lava feel and it kind of kind of the same colors to it but just a completely new different feel which i like i think that's great now one thing about the ex04 you want to know it's got stainless steel liners in it um, compared to the ex04 the ex04 is straight g10 and then the ex01 is also just g10 there isn't any steel in the liners so the ex02 is a little bit heavier and uh I don't know, things to keep in mind as you're making purchases. Let me show you really quick the handle thickness with the calipers. Handle thickness is 0.58 inches. Blade thickness right at the spine of the blade is 0.15 inches. And then right at the grind, thickness is 0.037. Let me show you in comparison to a tactical clothespin, get an idea of how big it is. And uh, by the way, let me, let me throw a pocket shot at you. Pocket shot so you can know how it fits in your pocket. Should mention that this is tip up or tip down carry, however you want to roll with it. So kind of give you an idea. Let me show you in quick comparison to the EXO3. EXO3 in my right hand, EXO2 in my left. And then, whoa, let me bungle up the camera there. And then EX01 in my right hand, EX02 in my left. So there you go. All the information you ever wanted to know about an EX02. No, that's not true. What I'd recommend is if you've watched the video this far, you might as well buy this blade. If, you're, if you've watched this video this far and you're still wondering about this knife, go do more research on it, check it out, that sort of thing. Um, Make sure this is the one you want. There are a lot of different Hogue knives. There are a lot of different brands of knives. We sell a ton. So make sure this is the blade that you want. And then, if it is, buy it at bladehq.com, as with all fine cutlery. Thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to buy all your blades at bladehq.com.